All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting Banana Boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids' SPF 50+, plus, this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. When you buy Kroger brand products, you feel like you're winning. That's because they offer proven quality at lower than low prices. In fact, we guarantee that you and your family will love how Kroger brand products taste, or you get your money back. So next time you're shopping for the family, look for delicious Kroger brand products, because they'll make you all feel like you're winning. Shop now, in-store, or online. Bakers, fresh for everyone. Hey, everyone. This is Jody Sweeten from the podcast How Rude, Tanneritos. I've been needing a quick getaway with my family, and the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe is the perfect vehicle to take us there. It has standard third-row seating, so I'm able to pack my entire family, plus pets, in the car while also having enough room for our camping essentials. Available H-Track all-wheel drive will get us through any dirt trails, and available dual wireless charging pads will ensure we never have to worry about getting stuck with a dead phone in the middle of nowhere. Visit HyundaiUSA.com. Or call 562-314-4603 for more details. Hyundai, there's joy in every journey. Let me just run this by my lawyer is a really helpful phrase to have in your back pocket. Legal Shield has been giving legal peace of mind for over 50 years. They connect you to a vetted law firm in your state for an affordable monthly fee. Want an experienced set of eyes on a contract's fine print? Or you finally want to get that will done? Legal Shield has a dedicated group of lawyers who have your back, no matter what the future brings. Sign up today at LegalShield.com forward slash iHeart. PPLSI does not provide legal representation or advice. See a plan for complete terms. I won't let my body outweigh. Outweigh everything that I'm made of Won't spend my life trying to change I'm learning to love who I am I get strong, I feel free I know every part of me is beautiful And I will always outweigh If you feel it, put your hands in the air Show some love to the new while you're there Let's take it one day at a time Cause you and I outweigh Happy Saturday, Outweigh fam. We are back with another resident expert. This time, Anne Marie, who's the founder and creator of My Fit City World. We have a lot of mutual people that <laughs> are in our lives that Anne Marie and I have yet to meet. But I at least I'm getting to meet you on Zoom today for episode one of three. So today is her first week with us and she'll be with us for two weeks after this as well. And Inri, I would just love to hear your journey to why you're passionate about, I don't know if it's women and men in particular. I actually don't even know who all you train if it's specifically just women. So I'll let you share what you do, but we're going to talk today specifically about how it's okay to have body specific goals post eating disorder recovery, or if you have over exercise disorder recovery, whatever that looks like, because it, it can get a little confusing, especially when you're first entering recovery. I know my pendulum swung all the way the other direction. I almost wanted to just be so defiant to anything and everything that I used to obsess about. And now my pendulum is evening out. So all that to say, we're excited to have you and I'm excited to learn more about you. Well, thank you for having me. I'm Anne Marie. I'm based out of Nashville, Tennessee, but I spent the first part of my adult life working in New York City in the entertainment industry. And it was something I wanted to do my entire life. And I got there and I was like, oh, I, this is not for me. I spent time working for everybody else's dreams and I wanted to pursue some of my own dreams. And part of that involves reclaiming my own health. So I came out of college, I ate too much, drank too much. I wouldn't say I was obese. I just didn't take care of my health at all. And so I moved to Nashville 
And I decided that I really wanted to take my control over my own health and fitness, which led me to find personal training. And I absolutely loved it. And I've never looked back. This is what I was meant to do. I started doing personal training and then soon fell into group fitness. So I was a group fitness instructor for some well-known gyms, Barry's Bootcamp. I taught a method called Legree Fitness. I opened my own gym here in Nashville and then Right before the pandemic hit, I had a surprise baby. I was told my entire life, my entire adult life, I could never have kids. And all of a sudden, surprise, my husband and I found out we were pregnant, expecting a baby girl, which I was thrilled about. But then she happened to be born early. And my entire life and outlook on life changed when she was born just 26 weeks into the pregnancy. So I, throughout that process, realized group fitness, I need to take a step back. And I'm back now to personal training one-on-one clients. I have a gym that we built in, in our house during the pandemic. I shifted just like all of us shifted during that time. And so now I am back to full-time training uh, one-on-one. I still love group fitness world, but where I'm at currently in my fitness journey is working with a lot of people in recovery. And it's not that I necessarily market myself as I'm the trainer you go to if you're in recovery. It's just a lot of attraction thing. I've ended up kind of attracting those who are either in over-exercise disorder recovery, eating disorder recovery. Some have had um, more extreme recoveries when it comes to alcohol abuse or drug abuse, but it's just, I would say I'm the trainer for people in recovery. So I've seen the spectrum of people who have gone to extremes on one end or the other. And this is kind of where we're at today and wanted to talk about that. Well, so when it comes to being able to have goals for your body, Mm -hmm. how do you guide your clients into that? I could see how you could easily dip your toe into another disordered behavior, trying to achieve a certain goal. Yeah. When I had my own eating disorder, when I, cause I had never had guidance about how to do it right. I just had guidance about you got to exercise and you got to keep this, you know, cardio every day, weights every day. You got to stick to the infamous 1200 calorie diet that I know is just the, the worst information in the world. So I had never had guidance on how to do it right. So that when I went through recovery, I went to the opposite end of the spectrum and I just ate everything in the world. I didn't want to put any restrictions on me. I didn't want to label any foods, good, bad, what have you, and all that. And that led me to kind of what I discovered that I had pushed myself into this hole of being unhealthy because of that. And I realized a lot of my clients have ended up doing the same thing. So you get to this point where you don't want to be bound by any restrictions. You don't want to be held to any quote unquote feelings of diets. You don't want to be told what to do, but then because of that, there's no guidance you have and you end up, it's not necessarily that you're overweight, but maybe your endurance is gone. Maybe blood work starts from the doctor starts to look a little off. Maybe you start to have these ailments that pop up that you never had before. And you're like, wait a minute, what's going on with my body? And that's why I realized, and I work with a lot of my clients on, it's okay to set goals after a recovery, but I'm very specific on the fact that if you are in just immediate recovery, you don't need these body specific goals. So like if you just decided six months ago or or realized came to the realization that, Hey, I have a problem. I need help with this. That's not the time to set goals. This is more for people down the road, a couple years down the road that are like, okay, I've gotten to this point now where I can do it without being triggered a lot. I can do it without feeling like I'm in restriction and I can do it and still maintain a healthy balance. I relate to this so much. And I would say I really got hardcore about my recovery in 2019. So okay. I'm in that window of it took me a couple years or so mm-hmm. till I started to realize like, oh, I don't always have to eat an Oreo. Yeah. But I did need to rewire my brain, though. I did need to sure. have those moments where if I thought of an Oreo, you know what? Okay, I'm going to go eat the Oreos that I now keep in my pantry. Inside yeah. joke for Outweigh family listeners, because somehow Lisa and I, my original co-host, would always <laughs> talk about Oreos. Oreos could be something else for sure. anybody for else sure. listening. Yeah. But for me, I could never keep Oreos in my pantry. And so we always use that as the go-to food. <laughs> and yeah. I was actually just with Lisa a couple weeks ago and our friend Kat Defada, and we were in New York and we were on a boat ride and we were mm-hmm. talking and we were having chips and hummus and just talking about the the pendulum and how 
it's swinging and, and even the misinformation sometimes that's out there on Instagram and TikTok and that some people are just throwing out, well, just do intuitive eating and it's eat whatever you want when you want it. And intuitively, sure, get the sugary drink from Starbucks every day. Why not? And then it's like, well, at some point, <laughs> at it some catches point, you. you're going to not feel great. But it, I needed the two years of getting whatever I wanted, like you For said, sure. and doing whatever I wanted. Yeah. But then I could assess, okay, how do I really feel in this moment? Like when I'm waking up in the morning, how does my brain feel? How does my body right. feel? How do my joints feel? And then how can I use food now appropriately to help fix some of what I'm feeling? Absolutely. Because at the end of the day, science is science and food fuels our body. And I definitely respect the whole good food, bad food argument and that there's no such thing as, but the reality is as we age, you don't want to be eating sweets for every meal. You don't want to say just because I want it, I should have it because something that I'm also very a big advocate for is our kids and the patterns that they're witnessing us doing when it comes to this, which is, you know, a topic we can talk about later. But another part of my journey is that I was a professional cheerleader for six years. And within that job description, you're never told to to lose weight, but you're also told to look a certain part. And within that, a reason why I feel this way I do is because after living that life, and I loved that life I, I led, I did go the opposite. And now I'm in the work now of realizing that I am unhealthier than I want to be. And so I'm in the process of setting goals. And, and it can be, I want to work out five times this week, which can trigger a lot of people. In, and it's a very controversial thing to say for people who are in recovery because you shouldn't label stuff. But I think it's okay to be like, I'm going to move my body every day. That doesn't mean I'm going to go get an hour and a half gym workout. And sometimes it means I'm just going to make sure I walk today or tomorrow I have enough time that I want to lift some weights. It's like, I want to move my body because I want to feel good. And I want to make sure that I'm here for a long time for my, my kids. It's important though, that you share this information. So like my clients and I have active conversations about this and I always encourage them to be in contact with their friends about her, to be in contact if they have spouses or loved ones, because if you are setting goals post recovery, you need to not just keep them to yourself so that people can check in on you. They can check in on, okay, I'm noticing this person does have healthy goals they want to set, but it's starting to border on the line of getting obsessive again about something. Because a lot of us who have disordered eating or eating disorders tend to have obsessive patterns about something. So we could get just as obsessed with doing things healthy to an extreme. So if you are going to set goals, tell people about them. And that doesn't mean you have to broadcast them on social media. In fact, I'm a rare breed right now where I've taken a big step back from social media because it's a huge trigger for me. It's a huge trigger for me, even if it is quote unquote good information or in, in information that I resonate with. So I take, I don't necessarily share my goals on social media. I share them with my husband or I should, I share my goals with the clients that I have as well, because people still need to hold you accountable. So you don't get into that, that pattern again, that got you to a restrictive place in the first place. And I just want to remind people, because I know you know this too, that weight does not equal health. So when you're speaking of health, you're not speaking of weight. But for so long, we've been, we equate the two as the same. For so sure. I just wanted to clarify that for absolutely anybody that's new. I would say even at my smallest, I would argue that I was not healthy because I was not having a period. That's when doctors were very much like, you're never going to have kids. And so... For me, weight is never equated to being healthy. For me, health is, from a female standpoint, am I having a period every month? Well, I just had a baby, so not right now, but am I having a period every month? Am I getting sleep at night? Am I drinking enough water? Is my Do my joints feel okay? All of those are my barometers for how I'm doing health-wise. Am I going to the doctor and getting good reports from my doctor? That is a very much how I measure success right now when it comes to feeling good about myself. Yeah, no, I love that um, yeah. clarification for sure. And, you know, for anybody that is tuning in that I feel like tuning in, is that such like a, is it 1960s? Like a radio <laughs> thing too, yeah. <laughs> you know, you may be listening right now and you might be wondering if 
recovery is even something you need to explore. You may be on day two of recovery and you're seeking out different podcasts or books or Instagram accounts to follow. And just, you know, make sure that everything is is lining up. And not to say that everything you hear on Outway is always going to be the exact perfect thing that you need to hear for you. And Lord knows we try to not say anything triggering at all, but everybody's circumstances are so different. And then maybe you're someone that's two years into recovery, but you're still looking for the things like I just remember always digging for resources, like I wanted to hear it all. But I will offer this bit of information from my experience is that you can start to weed out what doesn't work for you. Mm-hmm. Like you've, you've realized like, hey, right now, social media is not the best place for me. And you can do that with other information that you get. But I would encourage you to try to build a team of people, whether it's resources or people that you know, or therapists you can go to or trainers that you can look into that are in alignment and then go from there. And it may be that you have to take a step back from some of it because you're like, oh, I thought this was in alignment, but it's not. I've had to do that with certain accounts that I follow where I thought it was what I needed to hear. And then now now that I'm more into recovery and I'm learning more about me and what my brain needs to hear, I'm like, oh, maybe I don't really need that anymore. So I unfollow. So it's a... If you're not it's evolving, okay to change your mind. You're yeah, dead. It's okay to change. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. You can change your mind. And I started to take a step back from social media because I felt like it was doing a big disservice to my industry as a whole. You can become a certified personal trainer actually really easy. <laughs> There's a, a wider range of spectrums of, of certification methods. And I was finding a lot of people were either have the basic certification or they're not even certified and they're putting information out there on social media. And I just, for me, I had to take a step back from that because that caused me so much frustration to see accounts with, you know, hundreds and thousands and millions of followers and the information they're putting out there is just not healthy. But I know that's where a lot of us get our information in this day and age. And so it is important, like you're saying, If you choose to not use certain tools, just make sure you have tools, period, and make sure their story aligns with you. Like, I'm very open, even though I don't necessarily use it for business a lot. I've always been open on my social media about my personal story. I'm always open with my clients about it. And some clients resonate with me great. And some are like, it's not for me. I want to be in a, you know, fitness competition or a bodybuilding competition or something. And so they go find somebody else. Like, just share your story and don't be afraid to ask somebody what their story is. So if someone wanted to go back, because I'm sure you still have some of that stuff up, even though yeah. you're taking a I break. Still share. Yeah, yeah, you still yeah. share. So what is your Instagram if people want to go check it out? I'm at uh, Fit City Pearl, F-I-T City Pearl. My brand is Fit City World, but I don't necessarily, I decided to take a, a rare step back from social media and not kind of expand that brand. So I'm Fit City Pearl on Instagram, but I I still share stuff and, I, and it comes across sometimes as what I'm doing for my kids and how I'm helping them lead healthy lives, or it comes across sometimes as sharing what I did in the past that's not work. So I, I still share my story. I just choose in the in the current mind state of where I'm at in life to not actively use it as a resource where I'm updating daily. Awesome. Hey, yeah, and I yeah. love that. You recognize yeah. that for yourself. I don't have the bandwidth for that right now. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> well, thank you, Anne Marie, for this first discussion. And then we are going to be dipping into more of the kids' conversations in the next few because I know something that you do is you go around and talk to middle school students as well. Yeah. So this is something you're very passionate about. And me as a mom to especially to a teenage girl, I'm excited to talk to you about that as well. So Anne Marie will be back next Saturday. Bye. Bye. All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all new bottle for an all new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long continuous spray, ensuring long lasting Banana Boat protection. Plus, it's refillable from sweat resistant sport formula to kids SPF 50 plus. This is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. The South Dakota Stories, Volume 5. 
South Dakota seemed like the perfect place to unplug. But I ended up connecting to the world around me. A world where each sunset was painted. Where I felt adventures pulse with every step. And where cold water trickling, pine swaying, and grunting bison became my favorite soundtracks. I just wish I didn't have to leave. There's so much South Dakota, so little time. Are you feeling overwhelmed by anxiety, struggling to find restful sleep, or plagued by a restless inability to focus? It's time to break free from the chains of mental health challenges and discover a path to healthy living. Welcome to Amen University, founded by renowned psychiatrist and brain health expert, Dr. Daniel Amen. Dr. Amen, alongside a team of esteemed doctors and experts in their fields, understands the struggles you're facing and are here to offer solutions. From debilitating anxiety to sleepless nights filled with worry, our courses are meticulously crafted to target these specific challenges head on. Join us on a journey of transformation led by Dr. Amen and a roster of top tier professionals. Say goodbye to the constant battle with your mind and embrace a future filled with hope and possibility. Visit our website today to explore our courses and start your journey towards a brighter tomorrow. Use code BRAIN10 and get 10% off. That's code BRAIN10 and get 10% off your first purchase. Amen University, because your mental health matters. Hey, it's Bobby Bones. Are you looking to build this year? If so, there is no better time than right now to start planning and to get your spot on the construction schedule. If you need a garage, a stall barn, a storage for vehicles, RV, boat, collectibles, or even a a shop for your farm, hobbies, or car restoration projects, visit MortonBuildings.com and start your construction process. With superior materials, craftsmanship, best-in-class warranty, Morton Buildings are made to last for generations. At Morton, the difference is in the details. From their cutting-edge innovations to their craftsmen in the field, they are dedicated to surpassing expectations. Their legacy of excellence spans more than 120 years, and Morton Buildings is 100% employee-owned with more than a quarter million satisfied customers. That means they're the industry leader you can trust. When you choose Morton, you'll experience quality at every step of the building process, starting before the walls even go up. Visit mortonbuildings.com to get started today.